Hello traders, welcome to part two of the Pick a Path trading game. In part one, we went over price action and volume, and I gave a five round quiz to see if anyone could get all 15 decisions correct for the price action. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at sentiment, order book, and volume data. And if you think that you are quite good with um, those metrics, then best of luck. Uh, and if you don't, know a lot of these uh, that I have themed each round after, that's fine. I'm going to do a little explanation before I do each example. So the way this works is I'm going to be showing a chart and you have the option, the viewer, uh, to go long or short at the um, at the present candle. And then I'm going to show a second picture, which is the outcome of you know the first picture. And you have the option to reverse your position or to hold. And then I'm going to show the final picture where you can exit that position or you can continue to hold uh, for more profit. And um, I doubt anyone's gonna get 15 out of 15, but you know, best of luck again. Okay, so you may wanna pause the video here. This is the sentiment cheat sheet, and the first round is going to be on sentiment. So this does give the answers. So, you know, study up for the, study up for the quiz. Don't just take it without studying like some people do. Okay. <clears throat> What we have here uh, is green is Bitfinex longs and red is Bitfinex shorts. Uh, so that's where all of this uh, applies to. And candlesticks are just regular price. So if price was here and you had the option of going long or short, which would you rather do? All right, I'm gonna give you guys two more seconds for that one. So the correct option here would have been to go short. I hope the longs aren't, I hope too many people here didn't pick to go long. Uh, reason being, we have an established uptrend. We have definitely uh, a few waves of that uptrend. And in an established uptrend, when we see longs increasing and shorts decreasing, that typically means that uh, we have a bearish reversal. And we do see that. We see shorts decreasing pretty clearly, and we see longs are uh, increasing, as you can see here to here. And even at the origin of that uptrend, uh, we can see longs increase as well. So not a great sign for this uptrend to continue and uh, not a terrible spot to short. Uh, and I bet at this point, a lot of people probably thought that price would just keeping, keep going higher when this was actually happening at present time. All right, if you got that right, this is the second option. And if you got it wrong, it's fine. You can still uh, try to get 14 out of 15, I guess. So here we have uh, one downward wave. Uh, we have another wave up and then we have another wave down. And uh, what is sentiment doing here? I'm not gonna say it, but uh, that does have an impact on what does happen here. So would you go long or would you prefer to hold the short if you had picked short in the first uh, chart? All right, so the correct answer here was to go long. Uh, we see a drop in long sentiment. We see an increase in shorts and overall, we see uh, a, a decrease in the longs here, as you can see. It, it really, a, a decrease e even from here to here. We're, we're seeing a lot of the longs dropping out. And the shorts seem relatively stagnant, don't really seem to be moving much. The only time they do really increase is near this bottom uh, right there, where they increase. And they also increased around this bottom here, and they increased around here as well. But yeah, this would be a good spot to buy. Um, probably, you don't want to buy immediately here. But if you waited for some lower volatility, then this could offer some opportunities for medium term, longer term uh, buy position that would have worked well. So now, uh, third option, and I know some of you might get three out of three uh, on this one. We have price uh, went up and we see, I'm not gonna say it, but uh, what, what is sentiment doing here? What's gonna happen to price? All right, so the correct answer here would have been to definitely exit your long. I don't think you wanna hold this, you know. Well, besides sentiment, we have tails to the upside. Uh, and then when we look at sentiment, we had an increase. Uh, price was here, you know, in the picture before, right there, which is there. We had an increase in long positions. Um, and funny enough, uh, we had an increase in long positions, then price dropped. Then we had an increase in short positions right after, and then price rose just to, you know, screw over the um, any Bitfinex traders who were who were trying to trying to trade with the trend here. Um, yeah, this just does not look great. And the reason I say that is we have longs are increasing pretty pretty clearly, and then we have a sharp increase at at the end. Uh, shorts are decreasing, and maybe a slight increase here, but 
really not much uh, not much happening um, and overall looks like they're decreasing so this would have been a good spot to probably exit your long around here so I know at this point 12.5 percent of the viewers here probably got all three right well that's you know 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5 but uh, hopefully uh, round two will will treat you better um, now we're gonna be going over the bid ask sum and red is orders to sell and green is orders to buy um, these are not market orders these are limit orders meaning these are orders that have not been executed yet people who are trying to buy people who are trying to sell but have yet to do so and we're looking at bitmex uh, the bitmex order book here one percent range within price so the gray line is price, red is the limit sells, and green is the limit buys. Now, at this current price point, do you think it would be better to sell, or do you think it would be better to buy? All right, so the answer here would was it, it, this was a beautiful opportunity to, to, to sell. We have the limit sells are clearly higher than the limit buys. And do be careful here. This, this is not the same as this. Uh, you know, I know red, red and green lines, but they are very different. One is showing people who've already bought and who have already sold, which is this. And then this one is showing people who want to buy and people who want to sell. So the actual interpretation is going to be the opposite. Here, we're going to want to act the opposite of these traders, typically. Um, and then here, we're actually going to act, want to act with, with the orders, with the trade, with the traders. And you can even see the price just steadily decreased because probably, well, more people were, were wanting to sell. So supply is higher than demand and price continued to decrease. Uh, and yeah, right here. So if you had correctly picked a short, would you reverse long or hold that short? Okay, so the correct answer would definitely be reverse long. Uh, we can see the bids have just gotten higher than the offers pretty clearly. And price increases here to here. So, you know, not a, not great for the shorts. And I, sorry, but I actually, I think I, I cut the um, price off here. Like that's where the price y-axis is. This is the y-axis of how many um, USD dollar worth of Bitcoins trying to be bought and Bitcoins trying to be sold. Uh, but this is the actual price. Um, but it's the shape that matters more than, you know, the, um, the, the y-axis price. But this would have been a pretty good spot to, um, to, have, to have bought. Now, this one might be a little bit tricky. Uh, I, I don't even think I'd get this one right. But um, I'd probably get a lot of these wrong. What am I saying? As price is decreasing here, would you exit your long or would you hold the long? Okay, so the correct answer here would have been to, I think to, to hold your long would have definitely been better. Um, I took this picture also just before this massive uptrend occurred. So uh, the answer is definitely yes, you want to hold that long. Uh, because now the price went up to like uh, above that above that price for sure it's like the price would be like up here um and the reason is the reason why we might want to hold her long here is we see a sharp drop up drop off in people trying to sell limit sell orders and a bit of a drop off in people trying to limit buy so really i see no reason to want to exit her long at this point just no reason to um longs i mean not longs um uh, bids are still higher than offers uh so yeah Price, price, uh, price went up. So hopefully some people got the order book one right. You know, I think that if you guys get one uh, of these rounds completely 100% right, then that's, you know, that's probably good enough um, because that's your indicator. All right, now let's pivot again, and we're going to look at the MDR, which I covered recently in my videos. And good news is it's not that hard to, um, well, this actually is an MDR. But it's not that hard to interpret because these red and green lines are the same thing as this. Uh, red is just people trying to sell and green is just people trying to buy. So here we have Tron. And we see currently this. I'm not going to you know, say anything about it, but uh, does this look like we want to go long or does this look like we want to go short? All right, so that was at this price point here just to show a visual of like uh, what happened to price. And the answer is, yeah, you probably wanted to go short. Um, I'm going to show that here. You would have shorted here, and that would have been a really nice profit, you know, 800 to 700. And 
now for the current uh, MDR, for the current bids and offers of this one, what do we see? Do we want to go long or do we want to hold our short at this price point here? So the answer is you would definitely want to hold your short. Um, really, the, sh the amount of people trying to sell is increasing and the amount of people trying to buy is decreasing. So if more people want to sell than people who want to buy, price is going to tank, as it does here. Price goes from this price point down to here. And the current longs, uh, not longs and shorts, the current bids and offers are uh, here. Um, now, what would you rather do? Exit the short or hold the short? What would be a better idea? Um, you could pause the video here uh, because you can see that at this current price point. <clears throat> All right, so the answer here was you would probably want to have um, gone gone and uh, exited your short. You know, price pumps up here. Um, that may have occurred because you can see we have a clear dominance of uh, more people trying to buy than people trying to sell. So price, you know, naturally reflected that and uh, demand was higher than supply. Price went up. So if you know your um, MDR and know your bids and bids and offers, then uh, hopefully you got the, uh, the 100 on that. And maybe someone here has gotten 9 out of 9 so far, but I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> All right, so here's one where we're looking at, which, which one did I put? Oh yeah, coin farm. Um, so what we have here is BitMEX price, and this is a super, super short-term example. So if you're a scalper who likes to look at uh, volume, then this is probably probably yours, but if you're a long-term, medium-term trader, then this one is probably uh, not gonna, oh, my, my microphone's being really annoying right now. My God. It's like the, I'm trying to put the pop filter. <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, I guess the pop filter just doesn't want to go over the microphone, so my voice probably sounds like bizarre right now as I keep moving around and break anyone's eardrums who has headphones on right now, so I'll just lower the pop filter and just use none. Okay, so what we have here is uh, prices up here, we have uh, volume spike, and on Coin Farm we had $3.5 million um, dollars worth bought in one minute, so that means that from here to here, uh, 3.5 million uh, were market bought on, on BitMEX. So this is this a spot where we want a long or short? This current price point. So this, uh, this is tricky, but it actually would have been a pretty good spot to short. Um, and I think that kind of gives it away for, th for this question. But um, yeah, you, you go into a slight loss, but then we see this we see a second buy spike again. So is this a spot where we want to just say, you know, screw it, we shorted at a bad price. I feel like I already gave this away, but we shorted at a bad price and uh, let's just go long and just, you know, price is gonna moon. Or do you think it'd be a better idea to hold your short here? Uh, yeah. After a second buy spike. And these blue, I don't think I explained this yet, but the blue and the red spikes, blue means uh, market buy and red means market sell. So if we see a spike in blue, that means a lot of people market bought uh, in one minute. And if we see a uh, spike in red, that means that a lot of people market sold in, in one minute. Yeah, uh, price price goes down. So this would have been an actually not terrible spot to short. You could have shorted here, slight drawdown, and now you're in profit. Now is this a spot where we want to exit or hold our short based on this? Uh, sell spike. So this one is probably the toughest ex example, a little bit probably more random. Um, but yeah, you're probably gonna want to hold your short. You know, price price was here when I asked uh, 35, 34.5. Price went a bit lower all the way down to 35, 29. Reason we probably just don't want to like panic and, and exit that short is this is not a significant sell spike uh, in, in volume. You know, we were talking about 3.5 million here and about 2.4 million here in buy spikes. And now we only see a 1.4 million sell spike. It just isn't that significant. So no reason to ex exit your short here. Uh, correct answer would definitely be to hold that short as, you know, price did keep going lower. All right, so that's round four. Uh, short, 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 short. All right, the final one. 
this one I think is probably the easiest, but I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it though. Um, <laughs> but what we have here are liquidations. So the top is price. The bottom, which you can like faintly see, is liquidations. And a red means that longs are getting liquidated. A green means that shorts are getting liquidated. So right now, price went price went down. It liquidated longs. And when it does that, would you rather go long at this current price point or go short? All right, so the correct answer here would have been to go long. Um, you know, price does increase. And that is uh, where, where my cursor is, is, is the amount of uh, longs that were uh, liquidated. And now we see lots of shorts getting liquidated here. Um, way more shorts liquidated than longs had ever been liquidated uh, in, in, this, in this price chart. So is this a good spot to short or in, in reverse our position? Or is this a spot where we just want to hold our long and just, you know, moon? So this is a spot we probably do not want to hold along. Uh, we just saw a lot of um, shorts getting liquidated, about 1.5 million uh, dollars worth, and that price point was there. Uh, so price did not move any higher, and price just reversed back down. Now on the far bottom right of the screen, you can see some red. Uh, we have another liquidation spike. We can see that BitMEX longs are now getting liquidated. Um, what do we do? Do we exit that short or do we just hold it? And, uh, yeah, the last question. Yeah, no, no reason to hold your short there. Um, you know, this is a spot where the market had, um, had liquidated the longs, as you can see there. And after it liquidates those longs, there's just no more sellers who, who wanted to sell. We've tapped the final sellers and we've gotten a stop loss hunt because, you know, price goes right below the low and price goes higher. So a good time to reverse to go long, and definitely a time to, to exit your short. No, no reason to hold it. All right, so that, that's it for the video. Um, I hope some of you here uh, found uh, success with that, at least got the majority of them correct. You know, over 50% is probably good. Uh, this is just a, little, a quick little math of the percent chance of anyone here getting every single question right is way lower than I thought. I thought this math was actually like wrong, but apparently it's not. Uh, I We have a 0.003% chance that anyone here got all 15 correct. Um, but if you did get all 15 correct, I'd, I'd like you to trade with my own uh, capital like right now, please, because that would be, that'd be nice. All right, so that is going to be it for this video. If you guys want me to make more kind of videos like this with uh, Pick a Path Part 3, maybe using some different topics, uh, you can go on my Patreon and suggest this kind of video. If you want to see other kinds of videos as well, you can go suggest in there or vote on other video topics that I might be doing. And with that, hope you did well and happy trading.